because the memorial day is coming really soon there are some good pc deals out there and i'm talking about pre-built gaming pcs not pc builds so if you want to see pc builds with each component for you to build you can watch my whole channel which talk about pc builds and pro -build pcs mostly i'm going to go over four different pro -build pcs that these actually haven't changed that much these are fairly similar to the ones that i basically always mention because i honestly think that these are the best pro -build gaming pcs that you can get for different prices now if your budget is below the number one or above the last one then you want to check down below in the description you will have a bunch of gaming pcs as well with these systems that i'm about to mention and if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe but most importantly hit that bell button so you boost the youtube algorithm without further ado let's just start with this one with the first one we have the 15l by hp but hold on i know i mentioned this one a lot but this time is a different model this one has the i5 12400 one of the best cpus out there in terms of price to performance right now and you get the non-f version so it's going to help you out with video editing because you get those integrated graphics and then for the graphics card you get the gtx 1660 super it has 6 gigs of vram it's actually a pretty good budget gpu there's no game at 10 that this graphics card can't handle so if you want to play at 1080p any game of course it's going to depend on the settings that you want to play them but most of the games at high settings are going to be playable at 60 fps on average but before buying anything you should check out your favorite game and the recommended specifications then you get 8 gigs of free ram 2x4 this is something that i recommend you upgrading later on if you cannot do it right now and then you get 256 gigs of ssd which once again just like the ram i recommend you upgrading later on if you can't do it right now the crazy part here is that you end up saving $300 from the original price so for $600 you're getting this gaming desktop now if you have like $700 or $750 then I would go ahead click on customize and buy and change the RAM to 16 gigs and the storage to at least 500 gigabytes of SSD believe me that the RAM is going to make a difference especially in those high demanding RAM video games such as Fortnite and also for multitasking and if you want to open a bunch of tasks at the same time then 16 gigs of RAM are going to be needed. 32, I think it's a totally overkill and it's not going to boost your gaming performance, but 16 gigs is the standard nowadays. With the next one, we have another $300 discount, and we're talking about the AVS Master Gaming PC. Here you get the i5 12400F, same performance as the last one, but it's not going to be as good for video editing. But then you get the RTX 3060, which is way better than the 1660 Super. This one also has new technologies such as DLSS and ray tracing. That's something that you should keep in mind because maybe you like playing games with ray tracing, but also DLSS is going to help you out a lot with performance. Then you get 16 gigs of RAM 2 by 8 so here you don't need to upgrade anything and one terabyte of m.2 NVMe SSD so this PC no doubt is better than the last one but the price is $1200 so it doubles the price of the last one so ask to yourself if it's really worth the price difference if you're picking between these two and you don't know, have a high-end budget because the Victus 15L is actually going to perform excellent at 1080p gaming the airflow might not be the greatest but you're not getting the highest components so you don't have to worry about that but here you get the RTX 3060 you get a huge improvement over performance but you will need to upgrade the case in the future because this case doesn't have a bunch of airflow a new case is not going to be be that much more expensive but that is something once again that you should keep in mind before buying any game in desktop you should see the pros and the cons as far as gaming performance the rtx 3060 1080p resolution is excellent you can even game at 1440p once again depending on the games that you want to play but for 1080p i think the 3060 is the limit if you want a 3060 ti i would only buy it if i had a 1440p 144 hertz monitor with the next one we have this kaiser chronos this one has been on a deal for a couple of weeks now and this one is actually my favorite of the list because you save an extra $200 when you apply the Amazon coupon at checkout so the total price will end up being around $1600 and you get the i5 12600K definitely more than capable of gaming and also multitasking and I'm not talking about just some multitasking I'm talking about really heavy multitasking 12600K in my opinion is all that you're going to need unless you're a really serious content creator where you need to edit videos at 4k but I'm talking about really long videos Videos. Then you get the RTX 3070 which is a beast for gaming. Once again I think that this one is for 1440p not 1080p. If you have a 1080p monitor and buy this PC I think you will be wasting your money 
but maybe in the future you want to upgrade your monitor then buy this one but if you have a 1440p monitor this one is going to make much more sense to go over the ABS master that had the 3060 because the 3070 is going to be way better especially at 1440p resolution then you get the same terabyte of SSD 16 gigs of RAM but here you get way better airflow with that from mesh panel so overall a better PC and the price difference is actually not that much considering the upgrades that you get the price difference is $300 but you get the i5 2600k instead of the 12400f that is a huge improvement you get the 3070 instead of the 3060 once again a huge improvement and you get a front mesh panel so you get way better airflow out of this pc and with the last one we have a really pricey gaming desktop but it's actually on a 25 percent discount and you end up saving a thousand and three hundred dollars which is a lot of money you can even buy a gaming desktop with that money or you can even buy two hp victus 15l with 1300 dollars we are talking about the avs legend gaming desktop this one is 3900 dollars i know it's really pricey but some people have the budget to buy this type of pcs and if you're taking a job let's say you're a software engineer or you you need to do a lot of 3d rendering but you also want to play the highest end video games out of 4k here you get the i9 12900k the rtx 3090 32 gigs of ram 2 terabyte of m.2 nvme ssd and a great case so of course this one is one of the best on the market right now and it has the latest components except for the gpu there's a the new rtx 3090 ti out there on the market right now but let's be honest are you going to take advantage of the 3090 if your honest answer is yes then this PC is going to make sense but if your answer is that you only want a gaming PC you don't really care about multitasking all of that stuff and you want a 1080p or a 1440p gaming monitor then I don't think this one is going to be for you so the only case that you want to buy this one is if you have a 4k gaming monitor that's at least 144 hertz but you're also going to be working a lot with this PC with that being said that was my whole list if you find it helpful like I said at the beginning leave a like and subscribe but most importantly hit that bell bottom and i will see you on the next one thank you guys for watching and thank you for the support